threaten them as they cold-bloodedly experiment on civilian populations as if we are lab rats. A string of congressional investigations has uncovered more than 20,000 secret tests that were carried out against the American people between 1910 and 2000. One well-known eugenic study, the Tuskegee Syphilis Project, killed hundreds of blacks and spanned 40 years until whistleblowers exposed it in 1972. In December of 1974, the U.S. government made third world population reduction a central national security issue. The operation plan titled National Security Study Memorandum 200 was simply a regurgitation of the British Commission on Population created by King George VI of England in 1944, which openly stated that populous third world nations posed a threat to the international elite's monopoly of global power. The Kissinger authored U.S. plan targeted 13 key countries where massive population reduction was called for. Kissinger recommended that IMF and World Bank loans be given on condition that nations initiate aggressive population control programs, such as sterilization. A draft copy of the United Nations Global Biodiversity Assessment, it states very clearly that we must reduce the human population from what's current level of about 6 billion people down to about 1 billion people. In the 1970s, South Africa developed race-specific bioweapons to target blacks and Asians, and then subsequently sold the technology to Israel in the mid-1980s. In September of 2000, the Project for a New American Century published a document in which Dick Cheney described race-specific bioweapons as politically useful tools. Coming up, the FBI is really upset about the fact that tech giants have tried to secure your phones from their prying eyes. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. We have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. Celebrate the spirit of 1776 with the George Washington brass belt buckle or this incredibly sharp looking 1776 hat. Badass. And be sure to check out the new arrivals at InfoWars Life, where you can prepare your body to perform at peak levels with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine, Super Male Vitality, and Fluoride Shield. And wake up, America. Immune Support Blend is the healthy choice for the gourmet coffee lover. So get incredibly high-quality, freedom-based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. Good evening, everyone. I'm Darren McBreen, and here are some of today's top headlines breaking right now at InfoWars.com. A CBS News review of available public data from more than 30 states found that law enforcement agencies affiliated with educational institutions have obtained more than $13 million worth of military gear from the DOD program to militarize schools. Illegal immigrants can now serve in the U.S. military. 
For the first time, the program known as the Military Accessions in the National Interest will be open to undocumented immigrants without a proper visa if they came to the U.S. under Obama's Deferred Action Plan. The CIA admits to destroying Gary Webb's career. New documents released by the agency reveal that they worked with some of the country's largest newspapers to destroy the journalist, who famously exposed the CIA's connection to the cocaine trade and the Dark Alliance investigation. Gary Webb was found dead in his apartment in 2004 with two 38 caliber bullets in his head. It was ruled a suicide. For more updates and breaking news, go to InfoWars.com. And in other tech news, the FBI is upset with Google and Apple over privacy issues related to their smartphones. FBI Director James Comey has sharply criticized Apple and Google for developing forms of smartphone encryption so secure that law enforcement officials cannot easily gain access to information stored on the devices, even when they have valid search warrants. These new safeguards may help thwart the hacker at your neighborhood coffee shop, but I'm very skeptical of how much of a hurdle they'll be to your big alphabet agencies, especially when you consider how Apple, Google, and especially the FBI are alleged participants in the PRISM spying scandal. Google has even said that Gmail users have no reasonable expectation of privacy. And for law enforcement agencies with lesser budgets, your local PDs and sheriffs, they still have ways of acquiring your information without warrants, of course. In Seattle, police have used Wi-Fi mesh networks to track people via cell phones and also without their permission. I chatted with an industry insider who told me that law enforcement as well as ordinary hackers can hack into your cell phone and listen to your real-time conversations if they have the proper equipment. You know, they can do a lot of different things by controlling the little computer that you have in your hand that you use to talk on. And you made a very interesting statement because a lot of people think it's a, a conspiracy theory, so to speak, think that somebody can hack into your phone and just as you said, turn on your, your microphone and listen to what you're saying, but you're saying that that is, in fact, factual and happening? Oh, yes, absolutely. In closing, if, in fact, Apple and Google have turned over a new leaf, they've done it after years of farming your information. You can find more reports at InfoWars.com. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, OxyPowder backed by FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. I'm Joe Biggs with InfoWars.com. Now today we're going to analyze some footage of a brand new cartoon that's been released on Adult Swim called Mr. Pickles. This is a tool they're gonna use to promote Satanism so people watching it are gonna think it's cool. It's an easy way to drop some subliminal messages while promoting this murderous abortion type agenda that they have. Some parts of the cartoon are meant to be blatantly obvious out there with the pentagrams and the running around and acting crazy. But there's one interesting part we'll show you that is very creepy. It happens in a blink of an eye and we had to take the footage, slow it down, and you can actually read what it says. It talks about the Illuminati and it talks about the devil and how we should worship him. That is the crazy part. That's in the bumper before the actual cartoon starts. Those subliminal messages resonate and sink down in your brain, and that's the kind of stuff that they're trying to do. 
It's actually against the law to even use things like that, those little flicker messages in TV and in movies. Now we're going to go to my office and analyze the footage, and we'll show you what we're talking about. Let's go check it out. All right, as you can see, this is off the Adult Swim website. This is the, uh, the front page for their uh, Mr. Pickles you can click on. So far, they have the pilot out in the first episode so far. And what we're going to do is we're going to analyze some of the footage from both the pilot and the first episode as well. It's interesting, the first scene... Jane, do you love me? Of course I love you, Johnny. Then make love to me. I'm tired of waiting. Well, I'm not ready yet, Johnny. It's only been an hour since the abortion. So you can see right here, <laughs> it's only been an hour since the abortion and she has this teardrop tattoo to promote the fact that she's had, you know, this abortion killed this baby. So that's how they open up the season of Mr. Pickles. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but they do these little quick flashes and this image pops up right here. You have the pentagram 666 and saying, good boy. Then it zooms into the dog and you can see this happen. We had to slow this down a lot so you can actually see it. Here, I'll do it again. It goes in the pentagram. It shows you the 666, the skull. Upside down cross with the pentagram in the middle saying good boy again. Pyramid all seeing eye. So clearly this is just another tool to promote Satanism. Now what's interesting is this, throughout the cartoons, you'll see a lot of parts where you're listening and then you hear him speaking like the satanic voice. So what I did is I We'll play the, the clip of him scrambled, and then what I did is I flipped the audio so you can actually hear what it is he's saying. And it's pretty interesting, it's pretty creepy. So, obviously you can't make out what that is, but then when I flip it around. I love you very much, I hope you have a nice day. He says, I love you very much, I hope you have a nice day. So Satan is telling the people that he loves them and he wants them to have a nice day. It's hard to make out, but he says, beauty is not important, I must have you. So as you can see clearly right here, Mr. Pickle is sitting on top of a throne. You've got a pentagram here. You've got one here. It looks like it's written in blood. You've got this sexual slave type thing, torture devices, a severed go head with horns on top of this uh, lady waving the uh, leaf trying to treat him like he's a king. All right, so in this scene, Mr. Pickles walks up to a herd of goat and then his eyes get big. He, it's almost like he possesses them. And then he tells them that he is now their master. Little subliminal things like that. I really don't want to repeat what he just said, but uh, you can listen to it again. <laughs> Holy smoke! So throughout the show, there's these little flashes of things. Like this is really quick happens. 666, pentagram, just craziness. They always throw these little things in real fast. So in a minute, we're gonna show you the bumper where it's literally like a blink of an eye and you see Illuminati, you see all this different stuff. Very, very creepy. All right, so here's the beginning. It says, since 1425, one secret organization, then it flashes over to the next set of text, 
has sought dominion over the world of man. And then really quick, you get this flash. It says Illuminati. You've got to slow down the footage to see that. Then it goes, tonight it reaches a new level of indoctrination. And then you get a flash that says hell, Baphomet, 